free education in the year 2020. The dean of the graduate school is Professor Tsutsumi, and the director of the facility is Professor Nemoto from this year. And we have three supervisors of radiation protection. When using the facility, put the glass barge at all time. The glass barge is a personal dosimeter and is a key to gain access to the facility and storage room. Note that anyone can access to the radio stock storage room only twice a day, that is, once for pickup of the radio stock and once for return it. Please do not bring food, drink, or cigarettes. Be careful not to enter the facility while chewing gum. For the safety purpose, you can bring your own cell phones, but be aware of contamination. Keep, a, keep the risk of contamination in mind and only bring what you need for your experiments and work. Please wear socks and yellow lab coat while in the facility. Pay attention to the hems of your trousers. When you, have, when you leave the facility, wash your hands and then check for contamination with a hand foot cloth monitor. The probe of the hand foot cloth monitor is fragile and should be moved gently and slowly. If you find any contamination on your slippers or other items, please do not leave them unattended and report it on to the office. Check the pockets to make sure there is nothing left. Keep ready ISO purchases to the minimum and treat them with, with the owner's name on it. When you use radio isotopes, put a paper shade on the workbench. It is also effective to put a paper shade on the floor in case radio isotopes are splashed. Use radio isotopes on a tray lined with paper sheet. If you don't have a suitable tray, you can use plastic warp and paper towels instead. Use survey measures to check for contamination frequently. You also need to be careful of floor contamination. Occasionally, there is contamination on the floor caused by walking around with contaminated slippers. When taking measurements, consider the counting efficiency of the survey meter. Counting efficiency depends on the energy of radiation and the efficiency for carbon-14, for example, is less than 4%. No detection doesn't mean there is not contamination at all. Please use smear checks as well if necessary. If the count is about 100 CPM higher than the background level, suspect contamination and carry out decontamination work immediately. If you need any help, please contact the office. Please note that parking Elmo liquid, uh, liquid scintillation counters in the measurement room have their dedicated vial, which is different from the plastic mini vials used in the older instruments in the hallway. And don't leave your samples after the measurement. Imaging plate reader FLA is getting old, so please treat the, uh, the door and the stages with care. Make sure that there is no computer virus on the USB memory. The waste is eventually sealed in drums and taken away. We ask only the waste managers to, care, to take care of the waste after bringing it into the waste storage room. So now we will only explain what all users should do at the bench. Solid waste is separated into combustible, organic, and incombustible categories. Plastic products are normally organic wastes but if they have a metallic luster, even if only partially, they should be considered as incombustible waste. And the waste must be dried before closing the bags. There are two types of liquid waste, inorgan inorganic waste and organic waste. Please do not mix them. Ask your waste man manager about storage methods for each laboratory. Please take any trash that is certainly not contaminated back to the lab and throw it away. The procedures to be followed by the uh, research group managers are as follows. 
if we want to bring any equipment into the facility which needs space or special measures to, for the power supply, please contact the office in advance. And these procedures might be changed gradually. The office will notify you of any changes. In August last year, the radiation prevention regulation of our facility has been revised. The revised version is available at the Radiation Control Office homepage. X-rays. This is the management system of this year. In the chair of Radiation Safety Management Committee is Professor Nemoto. X-ray systems are classified into five categories. Users of non cross type systems require re-education, exposure control, and regular health checkup. A system with an interlock function is categorized to B, but if an interlock function is disengaged, it becomes category C. So do not modify or disengage the safety devices. Open or close the shutters after confirming about uh, that no X-rays are generated. In KEK and Fring 8, be careful about the handling of activated materials. The Environmental Safety Administration is in charge of the equipment, and the Radiation Control Office is in charge of the users. If you have any problem, please contact us, and please carry out the good experiment safely and carefully. <laughs>